Section 9.1. Please review the PowerPoint notes. The null hypothesis H0 states that the parameter is equal to a specific value. That is, the null hypothesis is equal to 35. The alternative hypothesis H1 differs from the null hypothesis. If H1, uh, you can have mu is less than 35, this means it's a left tail test. You can have it's greater than 35, this means it's a right tail test. And you can have does not equal 35, uh, does not equal means it's a two tailed test. So that basically the null hypothesis always says equal. The alternative hypothesis can be less than, greater than, or does not equal. Uh, you want to look up the alternative hypothesis to determine the tail. So if H0 is a 25 and H1 is greater than 25, because this is greater than, that means it's a right tail test. If H0 is 15 and H1 does not equal 15, uh, because it's a not equal, this means it's a two tailed test. As an example, a new type of fertilizer is being tested. The mean number of pounds of fruit from this new fertilizer was 395 pounds. Scientists believe that a different fertilizer may increase the yield. State the null hypothesis H0 and state the alternative hypothesis H1. The null hypothesis H0 would be the mean is equal to 395. The alternative hypothesis, because it says may increase, is going to be greater than 395. When you begin a hypothesis test, always assume that the null hypothesis is true. If data proves strong evidence against the null hypothesis, then you reject the null hypothesis and believe that the alternative is true. An instructor believes that the mean time a student will spend on a take-home test is 7.5 hours. A test is made uh, and now the teacher believes that it's not 7.5 hours. So the null hypothesis is the mean equals 7.5. The alternative is that the mean does not equal 7.5. The null hypothesis is rejected. State the conclusion. So if the null hypothesis is rejected, there is enough evidence to conclude that the mean time spent is different than 7.5 hours. If there is not sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis, we conclude that the null hypothesis might be true. There's two types of error. A type 1 error is rejecting the null hypothesis when it's true, and a type 2 error is failing to reject the null hypothesis when it's false. So you have a type 1 error when the null hypothesis is true and you reject the null hypothesis. You have a type 2 error when the null hypothesis is false and you do not reject the null hypothesis.